Uh, hello, I'm Stephen Cook with Cooksaw Manufacturing and I uh, wanted to do a short video today about roller guides. Uh, end of August, uh, at the very end, August 30th, I believe it is, uh, 2018. And we get questions from time to time and, and we address them at different times and so uh, we'll, we'll list at the end of this video uh, some other videos that we've done that may be more in depth if you have more interest in roller guides and speeds and things of that nature that apply to roller guides. But we want to talk about the roller guide this morning and, and where uh, the blade should run on it and just a little bit about what it does. But this is an inch and a quarter roller guide. You run an inch and a quarter blade on it and it's actually from the the face of this flange to the end here is actually just one inch. So if you measure inch and a quarter roller guide from here to here, you're going to see it's less, and that's because the teeth have to stick out, of course, beyond it, and, and the edge of the gullet would be uh, in front of it as well. But we have uh, some little bushings that we machine, and we make these roller guides and have them specially hardened. There's one goes in the back, there's another goes in the front, and then uh, you'll see there's a, a, a little shaft a zerk bolt, we call it, that goes through it that holds this thing on a little arbor. And then, of course, it spins when the, when the blade runs under it. But the question sometimes is, where should I run my blade on my roller guide? And, and really, the, the easy answer to that, and I'm going to use my pen here, is, is really right to the front of the first groove, about an eighth of an inch. And so I like to bring it out to about there. And when it is in, in idling or not in the cut, that's where it should be going. So there's tracking and things that are done on your wheels to get the blade where it's supposed to be. And then when you adjust this roller guide out, the blade should run uh, right at the front of the first groove. The reason for that is if you're running back against metal to metal, the metal of the back of the blade, which is a uh, particular high carbon, which means it can be hardened. Uh, if it is running and rubbing, we know friction, even if you rub your hands together real fast, you get friction, you get heat. Well, if it's rubbing at the, at the rates of speed uh, that we're coming through here, if you're rubbing against that, then you build heat and you crystallize the back of the blade. And if you ever have blades breaking in the back, uh, that comes from running back against your roller guide too much, or it can be something else is rubbing it. And uh, so that's, that's where you would run that, um, your blade, uh, on a roller guide. Of course, we have different sizes and uh, for different width blades and also diameter where we talk about the speed. Uh, these, these run at, at high rates of speed. And so it's important to have them where they turn smooth. And we like to grease ours a couple of times a day. Sometimes uh, if you get really good quality bearings, some people will run them with just uh, with rubber seals in them. And whatever works best for your situation, we're happy to do that. We sell these roller guys. We make these roller guys. We sell band blades. Really, in essence, uh, we have uh, built our business around the, the thin kerf, narrow, uh, width blade uh, band saw market. We build the sawmills, the sharpeners, the setters. We sell the blades, the edgers. Uh, if you if you have a mill, this type of mill, and and you need uh, need some items, we have all kind of accessory items. So give us a call. Uh, our goal is to help you make more money. That's kind of our uh, mantra. Uh, we like to make a good living, but we want everybody else to make money too. And so we want to sell you product to help you with that. And if you're buying product from us, we'll try to help you in any way we can. And if you've got questions, then, then we'll try to answer those as well. So uh, we appreciate you looking. Hope you'll ask you to subscribe, ask you to call and buy a few blades from us and try them and see how you like them. And give us some feedback. We like that. That helps us to improve. So we really appreciate you viewing us and uh, give us a call.